All right. Now we're doing 7Q, sum of the first nth term of a series. This is by Divyansh Betham, and 86% of the people like it. Our task is to write a function which returns the sum of the following series up to nth term. Like this. This plus all these, all right? Here's the rules. We need to round the number to two decimal places. we got to remember that. And return it as a string as well. And then if the given value is 0, then it should return at 0, 0, 0. Uh, we will only be given natural numbers as arguments, just like this. All right. So this one, the hardest part about this one is understanding the math going into it. See, so what, this looks like a bunch of jibber-jabber to me until I start to think a little more, you know, you, we know we're getting tricked here because this is Code Wars and this is not the first time we've been tricked by math, right? So what do all these numbers have in common? What could they possibly be? It's not prime, it's not this. Thing. Well, if we subtract 1 from each one of these, what numbers do we get? We get 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, okay. So basically, it's going to be something like add 1 divided by 1 plus the index times 3, right? Index times 3 is 0, so 1 divided by 1 is 1. Index is, uh, is 1, so 1 plus 1 times 3, so 1 divided by 4. And there we go. Thanks, Divyansh. Anyway, so let's knock this out. Uh, so right here, what we're going to do is we're going to declare a variable, say let result equals 0. And we're just going to do a sum after this. Uh, down here we're going to say if uh, let i equals 0, well i is less than, what's going on here, in i plus plus, what's going on here? What's going on here? Oh, not if, 4. <laughs> okay, cool. <laughs> All right, and so for this, we're just going to say result plus equals, uh, what did we say? 1 divided by 1 plus in time, excuse me, i times 3. All right, and then return result. Test it out. No. Oh, yeah. That's just the first part, right? We also have to make sure it's to two decimal places. And so for that one, we're going to use this two fixed uh, thing. And the two fixed method formats a number using fixed point notation. So we'll put something like two fixed two, and it'll give us two after each decimal point. The thing about uh, this is it always returns a string representing the given number using fixed point notation. So we don't even have to bother about the return it as a string. It's already written in the code. So dot two, not nah, was it? Two fixed two. Let's test it out. There we go. Attempt it. Submit it. All right. Submit it. Come on now. All right. And so as we wait. All right. So basically, it's the same as this, uh, and the same as this, and the same as this, except for they declared outside, I mean inside there. Let's see, is there anything that's not like that? Ah, good old uh, array fill map this. I, I like that. We could have done an array dot from also. That would have been cool. Uh, anyway, so that being said, let's go over to mine. very much like this one best practice in my opinion 35 of us plus these folks also think so well they at least they did it and we'll see you next time